Dear Professor Dumbledore, sorry to bother you, but my scar hurt this morning. Yours sincerely, Harry Potter. Your scar hurt, but but you know who can't be near you now, can he? I mean, you'd know, wouldn't you? He'd be trying to do you in again, wouldn't he? I don't know, Harry. Maybe curse scars always twinge a bit. I'll ask Dad. Sirius. Dear Sirius, thanks for your last letter. That bird was enormous. It could hardly get through my window. Things are the same as usual here. Dudley's diet isn't going too well. My aunt found him smuggling doughnuts into his room yesterday. They told him they'd have to cut his pocket money if he keeps doing it, so he got really angry and chucked his PlayStation out of the window. That's the sort of computer thing you can play games on. Bit stupid, really. Now he hasn't even got Mega Mutilation Part 3 to take his mind off things. I'm OK, mainly because the Dursleys are terrified you might turn up and turn them all into bats if I ask you to. A weird thing happened this morning, though. My scar hurt again. Last time that happened, it was because Voldemort was at Hogwarts. But I don't reckon he can be anywhere near me now, can he? Do you know if cursed scars sometimes hurt years afterwards? I'll send this with Hedwig when she gets back. She's off hunting at the moment. Say hello to Buckbeak for me. Harry. He folded the parchment up and laid it aside on his desk, ready for when Hedwig returned. Then he got to his feet, stretched, and opened his wardrobe once more. Without glancing at his reflection, he started to get dressed before going down to breakfast. <laughs>